this month has been all about dizziness and how um, maybe we can modify some poses, make them a little more gentle, a little bit more grounding, and hopefully get some, at least a little bit of relief um, from the dizzy, the dizziness that sometimes can hit. So we talked about Sukhasana at the wall. Um, we don't have to have a bolster. Uh, we did show with a bolster and some alternate nostril breathing. So we inhale, we close one side and inhale. Pause and switch. The inhale. Pause on the inhale and switch. Exhale the other side. So we talked about that. Um, we talked about a forward bend at the wall. So starting in staff pose, basically the idea here is that we are grounding down with the wall, creating some more comfort. As we bend forward, again, we have the option for blankets or a strap even, or bolster, depends on if you want to make it more restorative or more active. And we talked about a single leg knee to chest. So as we come down, so bringing one knee in, and if you're comfortable, extending the other leg, toes pull up. We can open. Come back. And then we would switch sides. We also talked about reclined bound angle with some block modifications. So maybe make it a little bit gentler than um, a legs up the wall kind of variation of this. We're adding a little bit of lift. It may intensify it a little bit. Um, you can always just omit the block, but I think it's a really nice changes of the angle of the hip a little bit, kind of comforting the feet are grounding against each other. It's just a nice, nice variation. And if any of them make the dizziness worse, um, you know, stop and maybe make your own modification or um, swap out for another pose.